Martha in Alexandria, Virginia. I've been a Democrat since becoming old enough to vote more than 20 years ago. I work in government and have contributed to and worked on the campaigns of Democratic candidates. I did not vote for Obama because I saw it coming. I still find it hard to believe that so many people fail to see the writing on the wall. So what do I think now? Fool us once, shame on you. Fool us twice, shame on us. I think you're exactly right. Uh, you know, with this new budget uh, coming out, I think everybody should be pretty clear about where this administration stands. There's no longer a, a, any kind of joke uh, around this administration. Uh, this administration has declared itself, its colors are flying high for all to see, a $1.1 trillion tax increase in this budget. Uh, that's insane. That is insane in the best of economies. It is horrible in an economy with a recovery as fragile as this or, or that we're experiencing now. I can't even begin to imagine what anyone of good faith and good mind could be thinking about uh, to, to create even more deficits and more debt uh, through the extension of programs like cap and trade, uh, Obamacare. I mean, when does, when does the American people, when do the American people just simply say, enough with this, we're not even going to put up with it? Well, you know what the answer may be right now, because the last three elections in which President Obama came, campaigned seven times uh, ended up going against him. Now, this is, and what was the headline today for crying out loud? His approval ratings are higher. That was the big headline in the national liberal media. It's unbelievable. Uh, as you say, fool us twice, shame on us.